welcome to pebbles channel today we will be seeing how we will be drawing the hands of the clock so we are going to draw the hands for the clock for the timing so as we've already learned the small hand the small hand is the a uh, and is the a uh, hand and the big and is the minute and so as we call it the small and or the hour hand the big and or the minute and so we are going to draw the timing 1 o'clock 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock So today we are going to see these three different timings that is 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock. So these are the three different timings we are going to draw. So in the first clock, so I have the first clock on the board and I have the numbers that is from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So this is a small model of a clock and now are you ready children? We are going to see how to draw the timing for 1 o'clock. So when it is 1 o'clock the, sm the small hand or the R hand points towards number 1. So it points towards number 1. <coughs> so the timing here is 1. So this is the small hand or the a uh, and so the small hand points towards one and the big hand that is the minute and it points towards number 12. So then we read the time as one o'clock. So when it is one o'clock the small hand or the r uh, and points to one and the big hand or the minute and points to number 12. So then we read the time as 1 o'clock <coughs> or the time is read as 1 o'clock. So next we will move on to the next model of the clock and we are going to do the mark the next timing. So the next time will be to so have the next model of the clock. We have another model of the clock and now we are going to mark the time for 2 o'clock. So when it is 2 o'clock, the small and or the R and as we call it points towards 2. So it points towards the number 2. And the big and or the long hand or the minute and points to number 12. So we have two timings. So when we want to mark the timing for 2 o'clock, the small and or the R and points to number 2 and the big and or the minute and points towards number 12 and the time is read as 2 o'clock. And now to mark the timing for 4 o'clock, we have another, another model of the clock and we mark the timing on this clock. So I have the clock here with me. And now I'm going to mark the timing for 4 o'clock. So when it is 4 o'clock, the small and or the R hand points towards number 4. It points to number 4 and 
the long hand or the big hand or the minute hand points to number 12. So then we read the time as 4 o'clock. So I hope you understood this concept of drawing the hands for the clock. So when it is 1 o'clock we have the small hand or the R hand, it points towards 1 and the big hand or the minute hand points towards 12 and then the time is read as 1 o'clock. To mark 2 o'clock, the small hand or the R hand points towards 2 and the big hand or the minute hand points towards 12 and the time is read as 2 o'clock. When it is 4 o'clock, the small hand or the R hand points towards 4 and the big hand or the minute hand points towards 12 and the time is read as 4 o'clock. So these are the three different timings that we have done using the clock, using a model of the clock.